before we dive too much into the uh, into the new features inside the app, let's take a look at the camera. And um, the the camera is becoming it's becoming more and more a camera that I would use. So uh, I'll be honest, when Lightroom Mobile first came out, I, uh, I I never ever used the camera that was on it, and now I find myself going to the camera more and more, mainly because uh, Lightroom Mobile will let you capture in DNG in the DNG format. So that's a big uh, that's a big plus. But the features that they're adding inside here um, are are really making it a very good camera so let's take a look here um you know lay the land i got the the new version on the left hand side and i've got the old version i just took a screen capture of the old camera on the right hand side here so you can get something to uh to reference it to and these were both taken on my uh on the iphone uh, 6 or 7 plus now uh, you can see, you know, you've got your uh, your flash setting here. You've got your little flippy thing for your uh, your selfies, uh, basically in the same place. If you're going to change from DNG to JPEG, uh, you can just tap in this upper center area. So that hasn't really changed too much. Um, I do see some questions on, you know, what cameras, what phones shoot in DNG. Uh, I think it's the 6s Plus and above. I don't. The best thing to do check Adobe's website because I know all the information's over there. If you want to find out the latest and greatest on uh, on what what cameras will do what. Um, but if you want to change it, all you got to do is just tap on DNG and you'll see that there's an option to change it back to JPEG. But this is actually one of the reasons why I go to Lightroom Mobile's camera. So it's not something that I change back. Um, down there at the bottom, so a couple things that you'll see maybe look a little bit different. Uh, you can see the uh, the first icon, and I have my uh, my gestures, my touch gestures enabled in Lightroom Mobile. And what this lets you do is that you can actually see you know where I tap on the screen there with that little red dot. But if you look in the the bottom right hand corner, I can tap on the uh, the W with the little lens on it, and that'll let me flip between my my telephoto lens and my wide angle lens. So again, I'm using one of the phones that support that, the 7 Plus. Uh, so that'll let me flip between those two lenses. Uh, you've got your exposure lock, which is right next to it. You've got your little filters, which I don't ever use, but they're there if you want to add a filter and camera. Um, and then if you notice, I think some of the biggest changes are going to be from the auto section. So you'll notice on the right hand side here, you notice there were some there's some options where you could change your white balance and your exposure and put a grid and do a couple other things on the uh, on the the camera there. Well, what they've done is they've kind of collapsed this up into auto and professional. So auto mode is just that it's it's auto mode. Where if I tap on it. It'll let me go into professional mode, and then you'll see all the options to go in there to change your exposure and your shutter speed and your ISO and all that stuff. So all that stuff is still there. In fact, there, there's probably a little bit more and a little bit easier to get to uh, when you use it this way. And we'll tap on it and go back to auto. But I will just show you really quick. I'm going to jump over into Lightroom. I will just show you going into professional mode. So I was able I was able to take this photo, which if you look at the longer shutter speed, so I've got a little tripod I use for uh, for for my iPhone. So I was able to uh, to to get the phone on a tripod, use the timer, um, get it very still, so it was a sharp photo, and do a longer exposure so you actually get that water movement and that'd be that'd be really tough to do with just the camera app in your phone um, but you can see, look at the uh, you can see look at the exif uh, metadata over here so iphone 7 uh, the whole nine yards so that was taken on the iphone directly okay uh, let's go back over here and get both screens up Let's go. We got back into auto mode. The only other thing worth checking out here is you'll see three little dots up here in the top right corner. If you tap on those, those reveal some of the settings that you saw in the older version that's on the right hand side here. So you can change between your various uh, aspect ratios on the phone. You can go between your timer there, so I can go between two, five, and ten seconds if I want. I do that a lot when I put it onto my little iPod tri iPod iPhone tripod. Um, I do that a lot. That way, I'm not touching the phone at all. I just put it on the tripod. I hit the timer, and uh, and I'm good to go. If you want to put a grid up over your photo, if that helps you capture using the rule of thirds or whatnot, you can do that. And, uh, and then you can see here's just some general phone settings uh, as far as, you know, if you want to turn the max screen brightness on or make sure that you're geotagging your photos. So I, I kind of opened up with it in saying that I was never much of a fan of the Lightroom mobile camera. Uh, I, am, I am more and more of a fan of the Lightroom mobile camera. In fact, if I'm not going to just, if I don't want to shoot a panorama, um, which the, the iPhone camera app on my phone shoots the panos, 
If I don't want to shoot a panorama or um, a video on there, then I find that I'm actually going into the Lightroom mobile camera a lot more now.